No, nah, she can text me about it. No, nah, don't text him about it. She know I still love him. I had to tell the shit. truth. I had to tell the truth. This it would be me. Class, self show. We be telling the truth. I bet you get your skin fade head ass on. Your boy got them little bit ass teeth. Them alligator teeth. Oh, yeah. I'm on your ass, baby. <laughs> then after that, I want them draw. Oh, your stank boot ass. You was right. That nigga that look like he owns so many construction companies. He does. That's why you can't even be mad. The nigga paper long. Paper long. You know his paper long. Because he you... got the white man, no lips. Anytime you see a white man with no lips, they got some long ass bread. She just got the face of, I got you. Hold on, I'm going to take you back. I'm like, yeah. She sent it. She let a nigga sleep. I touched it. I rubbed it. She might just let me beat it. She didn't want to. I want to. She had to come up off it. This is the 85 South Show, bitch. We freestyling about that pussy. We ain't never lost it. I see that. Man, watch the magic of nigga, production. Nigga, he talking about that. Joe, show them the magic of production, my nigga. Put a wand this in my nigga, mouth. Nigga, he trying to be slick. Hey, man, put me one of them Mickey Mouse wands. Nigga, that nigga talking about Ha, ha. You know, be in that thing like a pow, bitch. Ow, bitch, you on your period. It's easy now, bitch. You done made me mad. I'm going to hit you from Pussy the back. Hey, Pussy real good. Everybody know Pussy it real good. I don't Last know if you saw crazy, this shit, huh? but they got this clip up in the All-Star game where Dwight Howard is about to sit on the bench. And then before he sit down, he reach over and grab this nigga dick and, like, squeeze it. I don't. I didn't know who. I, yes, it's online. We do a lot of episodes for the real niggas and for the hoes and regular women that deal with us. Sometimes we crazy. We talk about the coaching. We like that pussy. I hit it and make that pussy loose. Hey. My name is Los. I do the most. I talk the most shit. But don't that. never leave me unprotected around you, bitch. Whore. Yo, mammy ho. Yo, pappy. Hey, 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 little bitty bitch. You little stupid horse. Look, you little, little bitty bitch. Little bitty bitch. Uh, 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 bitch. And, and your grandmama nipples ashy, you bitch. horse. Stupid ass bitch. And, and, and your grandfather's short with a, 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 with a ball spot. Ah, uh, stupid ass stupid little ass horse. Bitch. Little dumb ass. Why, 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 why you do that? That's why your granddaddy arm short. That's yeah. why you can't hold his dick when he pees. Yeah. 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 That's just point blank period when people be acting like they don't know. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you might hear a nigga back there be like, man, I'm finna try shot. But deep down in your mind, you like, shot to keep it shot. You know. Now, this in the bigger hands than me and you. Did you talk to God about this before you just broke up with me? You feel what I'm saying? She broke up with me, bro, and I was just like, what? They call me DC, Y O U N G, F L Y. Yeah. Yeah, did. I ain't paying for shit. I'm gonna yeah, shake that shit up under the seat and act like it. I ain't even fucking with it. What? Hey, yeah, he did. They're gonna be like, yep, that's him. No, he Look ain't. at his bass. He did not buy it. Oh, oh my. He got $9. You need to go one more try. Oh, Hold on. up. I'm gonna fly Frontier. Hold up. I'm gonna stand in line. What? What? Guess what? what? It was about what? What? nine ninety nine for the motherfucking ticket. They put me on some shit, but I ain't felt ya. Built ya. I really feel rich flying Delta. <laughs> Sandwiches be good as hell, but them bitches eight dollars. Take my car, and give me two of them bitches, and swipe it out. She is sixteen dollars. Hold up, oh, Southwest. Why y'all ain't got no TVs? Bitch, everybody out here don't like to read. Check this out. I wanna see top flight. This bitch to the left keep leaning on me and my shoulder. Hurt, I right. Hold on. Hold up. American ah, shit. Airlines. Damn. Ah, be trying me ah, all shit. the time. Oh, damn. When I'm trying to come ah, to Atlanta, make oh. me fly to Charlotte first. Oh. I don't like this shit. Gotta fly over the crib. Just to turn around, fly back to the crib. Hey, hey. Just drop me off in Atlanta. Hey, hey. Right there in Marietta, where a nigga live. Hey, oh. Hey. I was on a connected flight. We had done stop by five times. Damn. But guess what? That shit has saved me shit like five times. Okay. I ain't gonna Lie. I seen a bad bit by five times. Mm -hmm. I would lie, you from Texas, you from Tennessee, and Memphis, like five lies. Hey. Hey. You ever have so many layovers that you start making friends? Hey. But you don't give a fuck because it's always somewhere to plug your phone in. Hey. I'm at Starbucks with the white folk, but it made me have to boo boo. Hey. By the plane take off, shit, I got to go because the nigga had to boo boo. Hey. Tell me what hurt. Oh. <laughs> nigga had to poop. Oh. Went to the little bathroom here. Air sounded like a flute. 
Oh. Nigga was sick. Should have oh. had coffee and shit. Should have oh. stuck to the bananas and fruit. Vespers and shit. Oh. Oh. 85 hey. South Show. Hey. Oh. Hey. It's your girl favorite podcast. Oh. It's the 85 South Show. Oh. We making white folks and the little kids laugh. Oh. It's oh. the 85 South Show. Oh. oh. Hey. We hanging in there like an old piece of weave. Oh. Oh. The 85 South Show. Oh. oh. Oh, this episode is me and DC. Nigga, you heard me? Yo. Did you hear me? I heard you. Yo, your mixtape inspired me. You added my name. Me. Yeah. Beautiful. Your shit inspired me. I don't I know how the shit sounded to them, but I sounded like Bobby Brown in 93 right You're going to have to cut all that shit out. Cut that shit out. Shit, I ain't even sound crazy. good. Oh. <laughs> What's up, nigga? Slow motion. How, how you living? Wi-Fi? How you living? Need the Wi-Fi. Hey, you look motherfucking intelligent because you got a MacBook. It's a, it's amazing how just having a nice fucking appliance make a nigga look like he didn't went to a whole college. Let me tell you something. Look, this we got the is, hotel this shit, Wi-Fi. This shit in this is bitch. crazy because who you still there from? My screws is out, man. When you get your shit from an African, bro, ain't no telling who <laughs> computer this was. Man, don't look through the. And pictures. I heard that you cannot deny shit from an African. Hey, fly, you ever bought a uh, MacBook with the fucking pictures of the white people already on it? Uh-huh. That's how I know. I'm like, that's, that's who they real stole nigga from. shit. You be like, hey man, just delete them pictures, man. I don't know the Apple, iCloud password. You can't deny shit from Africa. That's why he always, like, he he, he invite me like, hey, DC, let's go get something to eat. And I'm like, no. He like, no. Let's go get something to eat. That's I'm like, no. Cold. You're hungry. I'm telling you. I'm like, nigga, all right. Why you be so fucking aggressive, nigga? Mm. You can't you can't turn down no. They say it's disrespectful. You well, can't. I'm like, nigga, you ain't African American. We say no, nigga. We just ain't hungry. Nigga. African Americans and Africans, two totally different things. Yeah. African. They not American. They They're just straight Africans. Just Africans. That's why I was at the um, All Star game, right? And oh it was, shit! It was, you was, it was out there? Yeah, it was. It was a dude. Rich nigga, shit, bitch. It was a dude. He had some 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 popcorn shrimp, and his lady was like there. And I'm like, hey, where'd you get that? She grabbed one, gave it to me. I'm like, okay. To me, I'm thinking shit. she want to fuck. So I asked. I said, you that's your husband. That type of shit. Um, if she fed me, she want to fuck. And right and in then, front of a nigga. Yeah. Damn. So I asked her, was that her husband? She said, yes. This is my husband. I said, what the fuck? This bitch just fed me in front of her husband. And then her husband reached back with a plate like this. I'm like, no, nah, I'm straight. He was like, no, it's okay. I'm like, no. He said, I insist. You get. I'm like, well, damn, nigga, I'm to get three Maybe of them. Maybe where they from? They feed motherfuckers. I'm know. like, why are these niggas so aggressive on feeding nigga? Like, I don't be want food know, all the time. I know goddamn well she better not ever take shit off my plate and feed a nigga. nigga that's better. what I said. That's all I think about. A married woman took plate off her husband. I don't and give a fuck me. if a nigga starving. Don't you ever take off. And then my I started thinking, plate. like, do African niggas share their women? I don't know, but I don't, that shit made me. I started mad. to say, excuse me. Like, can we share this bitch? Man, we didn't even do the intro. 85 South Show. This is a podcast for niggas who fell asleep in the living room with the shoes on. Bitch, this car behind home. I got major ground like on ABG. I can't wait till my boy get home. Y'all are the new generation of comedy. Yeah, home, home. Yo, old ass. Why your titties look like upside down pizza? <laughs> Ugly, what? With, with pepper, with one pepper on on each piece. I can meet a 19 year old bitch with a 35 year old mama. You fucking both of them. I could be. Man, you the side nigga to here for real. Yes, indeed. Man, y'all out of hand with this beat, man. For real. I ain't even know what a Draco was. I just found out a Draco a gun. The way Soldier Boy was talking about, it, I thought I ain't know what it was. Spray the block with a Draco. I thought it was a cleaning product. I'm at the grocery store looking for it. Uh oh, better get Draco. Y'all got any Draco? Welcome back to the 85 South Show. Welcome, <laughs> welcome. Yes. Welcome to the motherfuckers who just stayed on this bitch until we had a new one. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Niggas just on here. They like that is. Oh yeah. The numbers are officially back. We are ranked number one in your girl's favorite podcast. <laughs> We are? Yes, we are the number one podcast for bitter bitches, baby mamas, and bitches who don't believe in niggas no more. This is the number one show for niggas who starting to believe in themselves just three months ago. Like they they play some of our episodes at, like on the first day of GED class. I heard that our shit is really popping over there at the Atlanta training school. Yeah, niggas is getting their life together, bro. It's, it's crazy. Did y'all see that shit? Young Dro came on this bitch and went to school the next week. Nigga said he going to get his high school. High school. That's what I'm talking about. 
We change lives. We do change lives, my nigga. You stupid bitch. You stupid whore. We was only talking to one person when we said it. He said the stupid bitch. I said the stupid whore. Nobody is left out here on the 85 South Show. My name is Carlos Miller. My I name hate is my DC whore, but I love my out. bitch. You do? Yeah. Hey, man, speaking of DC Young Fly, What's I don't up? know if you heard, but this nigga got one of the coldest mixtapes. <gasps> and it's almost street. It's almost street. Platinum. That's how you, you gotta do it. Hood when, you, when you don't go, when you don't get a, a Grammy and shit for your shit, or you don't get platinum, like record sales, you just put them in the street. Yeah, my shit almost street platinum. I got a million players. The shit is, I thank you guys. I'm gonna go bitch. ahead and tell you, uh, whether you know it or not, I don't know if you're waiting on the internet to tell you, but well, your shit done got played a million times. This is a random fact. I was shooting a podcast <laughs> last week, um, the Talking Crazy Street. podcast. Midtown Atlanta with some of my people over there. Shout out to the uh, talk, the Crazy Talk podcast. Man, it's a room full of the most fourth war gangster little dread niggas in there. Guess what they listening to? Yo mixtape, nigga. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Man, that and nigga, like, but it was so funny because it's like you see a hood nigga, they agreeing, but they argument, they arguing in the agreeing. Like, man, this nigga really fought with that music. No, nah, bro, I'm telling you, he been fought with that music, bro. <laughs> like, that shit was cold, man. That real love, man. I appreciate, man, everybody for fucking with me. You feel what I'm saying? This, first of all, this first the first R and B. EP I done ever put out, like people been telling me just go ahead and sing to them bitches. My female. I told you this shit two years ago. Like if we was real savvy, this would be the time where we go back to like we was still at uh bruh studio. And then I was like, bro, you need to just sing to them hoes. And you was like, nah, bro. And then you did the rap about the gun and shit. I was like, yeah, but man, it's cool. But what about the bitches? And now you finally still like, you know what? It's time to sing. It's to time them. to sing to the female out of rap. I finally got all this shit on my chest. All right. That shit ain't get me nowhere. Okay. So I just song. Let me ask you this shit. <laughs> I'm doing your interview. This your uh this your hood Grammy interview. Let's do it. Ah! 85 South DC Young Fly. Thank you to all the pussy that I made. What? If it wasn't for you, my music would be dry as fuck. Do you understand fuck. that people are using your music right now to get pussy, actually? And then they have shit to do with you, but you it's like you played an important part in another nigga getting some pussy? How that make it's, you it's feel? Kinda, it made me feel great. It's like like how the old the old rituals we used to sing and play back in the day, like the R. Kelly's I got shit. a feeling in my heart there's going to be some little niggas named Devante made to this. I, this I, I hope so, because you got to think about it. My music is basically, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of blunt and I'm kind of like, you know what I'm saying, up front on basically what I want to do. So, if I want to eat that pussy, All right. and if you want to eat some pussy, I think you want to play my music just so the bitch who's riding in the car with you know that yeah. that's what you want to do tonight. You 85 South Show Hood Grammy interview, DC Young Fly. Check this out. Yes. I'm going to keep doing this shit. I'm just going to go ahead and let you know. It's okay. Just to make the shit feel official. Because, you know, here at the 85 South Show, there. it's Woo. never what it is. It's just what we make it feel like. So check this out. You decided you're about to do this R&B mixtape. Yes. What what music were you listening to in preparation? In preparation. In preparation. In preparation. Yes. You know, leading up to. Preparation, lady, do you hear that roll? I can do it in real life, okay? Preparation. Preparations, reparations. Preparation, reparations. Mm -hmm. uh, but now, um, I was listening to a lot of Drew Hill, uh, Genuine. You know, Drew um, Hill made a lot of sad nigga music. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They so, had a whole song called, I Could Be Your Boyfriend. Real talk. Because you know he's lying. Yep. It might sound like I'm hating. Yeah. True or not. But girl, I'm just relaying. And yeah. then, nigga. I love that song. See, that's why niggas they fell off. Because right now, we don't have the type of homeboys that would like that would sing the background to help you get your girl back. And I'm glad that I'm seeing a young nigga bring that type of R&B shit back. So I'll be right there tell you to stick in, man. Drew Hill, man. Uh, Genuine. I listen to uh, Boys and Men a lot. Uh, I listen to Boys and Men because of the harmonies. Yeah. I get the harmonies from them. And Drew Hill, I get that real... R&B feeling when I listen to Drew Hill and when I listen to Genuine, I just feel like it's time to eat a bitch ass. Wow. Check this when out. When it's time to listen to the girl, put that ass on my head. You with R. Kelly on the music. Fuck the personal shit. The music. No, he's 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 like the godfather. When it comes to the music. With the R&B, right, he, he go crazy. I was just checking to see if you... Because no, like, he's like, 
a lot of niggas in your age bracket but don't you understand about the it. greatness of this. Just man. because you don't listen to a person, right. that don't mean you can't give them their credit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Some people be like, hell no, nah, hey, hey, hey. you know how they can be with Dude, your folks. They, they be like, like hey, hey. I be like, bro, it's not that serious if you're a folk. No. Yeah. I'm like, bro, chill out, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Feel but R. Kelly is well, like the godfather of like the freaking shit. Yeah. So I listen to R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? I just don't listen to a lot. Cause I don't yeah. know who the hell he's you, talking. You to. right. Look, but see, the, like, if you go back to the old R. Kelly, the nigga, he was like, look, girl. He, he was like, great. No, he was grown. The nigga look. said, "Show me some ID before I get knee deep." The nigga was asking for ID back in the day. See, Somewhere in between the nigga growing braids and wearing mink coats, the shit changed. He said, "Fuck the ID. Put your ass in the face." I don't. I don't know. I don't. That's know. why I can't do it. Okay, so dig it. All, the, my, all the hoes I'm sick to, bitch, I done checked ID, so I ain't even well. put that in I don't need to see ID. Right. Because, uh-uh, you know I mean, it's pretty easy for you. If you a young nigga and you know the bitch young, you know she young. You no, know I'm so, 24. I, I ain't, feel you. I can't go for the 17. Right. 18? No. 18, cool. Bitch, you wrong. I don't mm-hmm. give a fuck. We can argue that all day. Hey, 18, y'all. All right, cool. You, hey, if you're old enough to buy cigarettes, you're old enough to fuck with DC. That's a terrible way to look at shit. But hey, man, if you go buy Bill Batwood for the weed, man, we fucking when you get out. Speaking high. of which, check this out. The mixtape is called If You Don't Know Me. If You Didn't Know Me. Yeah. If You Didn't Know Me. So you want motherfuckers to listen to this shit like, I don't know this nigga. Yeah, I want I want them to not think of uh, me as roasted. You feel what I'm saying? I don't want you to think of me as the funny nigga or nigga on TV. Why nigga not? learning. You can't no, get no, no, unfamous, no, 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 no. nigga. I don't want you to think of me. I don't. When you listen to this shit, take that shit out your mind. I want you to press. I want. So I want you to think as a motherfucker ran up to your your, your car and said, "Bro, look, I'm selling, I just my, had an idea. I'm selling my meat tape, bro. Uh, oh, you ain't got a bad. Just listen to it. I'm gonna and you, you actually like the nigga. You like, well, shit, the nigga, the nigga, nigga right. What if you had a song where you were singing and roasting at the same time? It would have fucked the whole tape. I know it, but now that the shit open, would do that shit on volume three. It would have probably been right in the middle. Nigga would have been like, man, this shit I heard too. Got it, this old goof ass yeah, track goof right ass here. Shit. This shit fuck the whole, fuck the whole vibe up. Like right. nigga be fucking off, so you hear, bitch, you get your ugly head ass. I out. like that shit. They like, hey, I like, like no, give me one more verse off that bitch. Like, what? The roasting shit. Bitch, you get your skin fade head ass on. Your boy got them little bit ass teeth, them alligator teeth. Oh yeah, I'm on your ass, baby. <laughs> Then now that I want them draw. Ooh, yo, stank boot ass. Man, they be like, man, cut that shit off, man. <laughs> Hell no. That shit ignorant fuck, that bro. Shit retarded. We missing money, like a motherfucker. Man. Hey. All right, All right, so track number one. They know. <laughs> they know. Out, out, out the gate. They know is kind of like the club banger, man. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got a lot of response for that. Before, the build up for this before shit. Before I put crazy. on that, yeah, the motherfucker was crazy. You know what I mean? First of all, it's R&B. They like, see, first of all, because people go, people finna go see, is it really what it, what it claim out to be? Because he's saying it. Right. Where did they know come from? They know this came from just experience, man. A lot of people, sometimes people be acting like they don't know. Right. Man, y'all know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the, that, bro. That's the, that's the whole purpose. Like, nigga. Bro, that shit just made me like this shit even more. You know what I'm just saying? That's just point blank period when people be acting like they don't know. Like, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might hear a nigga back there be like, man, I'm finna try shout But deep down in your mind, you like, shout to keep a chopper. You know. They know. You know what I'm saying? You like them bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I grinded from the that bottom shit up. Was gangster as fuck how you was. You was you really know. on your singing shit, and then you threw the. The chop a fuck around and take this, and then just like you see how I rode it, yeah. That nigga, they kind of like made you know all the street. That made all that. street niggas feel. I wanted to make all street niggas feel like they had a funeral, and then one nigga that sang it, and nigga don't be trying to cry, nigga. And remember nigga be crying. Like you ever Jenny. seen the gangster nigga? You never seen crying right, before, right? You be like, they ain't even know that nigga had water in his body. <laughs> hey, you remember that life, Jenny? And I be robbing these niggas. That's mm-hmm. like the grandson of this shit. Real like, talk. That nigga, the chop a fuck around, and you like, that chop a fuck around, take it so yeah, yeah, yeah. Real talk, real talk. And, and the crazy part about it, they know, they know. So I ain't, it ain't nothing like they don't know. Right. You know what I'm saying? Park that trunk. The that motherfucker shit. sit right I, there, smile and say, "Hey, boo boo, I wait on you at that dope." Right. Well, I'm letting you know that that shit burned the streets it, up, man. right? Yeah. Now that's that's the, that's like the hit banger. That's gonna be like the single, and then I follow it up. Ready. With the ready. That's tell me about ready, man. To be honest, ready one of my favorite tracks. 
You know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, you know. All right, let's set the yeah. move for our 85 South Show. Okay. You already know who the podcast yeah. for. When should a nigga play ready? You should play ready on your second net. Don't play it on your first. So this one of the ones you loop back. You yeah, you got, to, you got to loop back to it when you know you finna go crazy. Right. You got to play that. If you finna kiss her from her head out of that pussy, you finna eat for a little minute. Cause you know you finna. Hey, get I know that you ready, babe. What? I'm gonna need you to say what? You finna be eating that pussy? What? She gonna listen? She gonna net, right. bro? If you want her to net before you catch your net, cause you know you a quick proper play ready. Okay, check this out. So they know that's that's a thing. They know, when you hit they them, know where the club when you hit them with Reddit, <clears throat> that was the I feel like that's the first song where niggas got to see DC yeah. like on on some real singing shit. Like yeah, that's why I like Reddit because it's it's. I knew we were gonna catch him right off guard because I got him in the club motion, and now it's ta- now it's really time for me to take him to if they really don't know me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I got you hype off they know. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna right. think it's gonna be some got whole bunch of gangster shit. Yeah, yeah. And then you like, okay, now let me tell you what this 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 me take really about. I want your bitch. I want to eat her ass. Right. I want you to get the I kids pulled, for the I weekend. I pulled off they know. I wrote. I pulled off they know <laughs> right. at the club. Right. But when I get to the crib, I hope this bitch ready. Right. You know right. what I mean? So that's why I, I wanted to set the mood off they of ready because ready one of my favorite tracks. You know what I'm saying? It's really on some some grown man shit, like right. grown man. We ain't talking about that little boy shit. So you go from ready to body right. Body right. I gotta get on my body right shit, bro. is for the motherfuckers who trying you to fuck over their limit. You know what I'm saying? Like now you don't got this bitch. First she done nutted. Now you want this bitch to die. <laughs> This is payback. This is payback. This one for the one where you got, got saw one time and she kind of like was talking she shit. She won. She won. <laughs> and now you back on the hole. You like, yeah, bitch. <laughs> like, now you really got her. See that body right? right. You ain't even finna play with her, period. If, there's the shit. I made body right for the motherfuckers who do shit I don't do. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? You got niggas who go do, do, do. The real yeah. freak. Yeah. This for the real freak. This for y'all. Oh, you okay. know what I'm saying? Y'all do that shit. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stick to ready. That's, that's what it. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So we 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 three tracks in. Three tracks in. All right. Cool. So then you go to you go to right now. Right now. This the time to chill, smoke your blunt, get your mind together. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's a track where you can ride and smoke, get your mind together. See, now y'all done bust your nuts, everybody chill. This, the, this for the ride this home. This to recuperate. Yeah, this the ride home. Because you not but you. But to keep the vibe cause, going. Cause the, cra- the crazy part about it, the first thing that come on, the first thing, feeling like shit right now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So now he ride like, I just throw that ass up. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? So, nigga, I'm good. You feel what yeah. I'm saying? She text the nigga back. I hope you make it hard. You didn't get that the first time. You know what I'm saying? You might have to loop back. You <laughs> might have to loop back if you get hard. No, like, what you trying to do? <laughs> what you, you, know, trying, what to you do trying to do? Right. So right now, like the recuperation smoke vibe. You know what I'm saying? You can chill and just mellow it out. Like, that's really like a smoke. I had to, I had to get one to the smoker. Okay, you know exactly what that is? If you getting head in the car, okay, that's one of the ones you smoke. First, I'm feeling that shit right now. Ooh, me do the little right now. I'll get my head. Like, that's for like the that's what the ladies the play on the it. way to the nigga. And crib. the crazy part about it, that ain't your bitch. You know what I'm saying? Wow. She chilling with the dig right now. Ooh. Hey. Call that out. What? <laughs> we with the shits right now. You just because you got your shit with you. You got see, your strap. See, you just, I saw you, I saw you about to go DC, young player. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm gonna chill it. I'm chill gonna, gonna cool out. This, this is the one the common one. You know what I'm saying? All so, right. I believe this next one though. This probably gonna be the sleeper. This is mm, the sleeper right here. Pretty lady. Pretty lady, man. That's that's when you you got real. Fly. I want to see that shit shot on an island you, somewhere. No, like. most definitely it's going on. Yeah, the island. you got to take that. We're going shit. on the yacht. That shit beautiful. We're going on the yacht. If we gonna make it look like it's Dominican, but we are gonna be in Miami. Yeah. But look, um, <laughs> you know how niggas go. Probably do a man-made yeah. beach in Georgia. So we just gotta rent it out. I think nobody pretty else. lady go, is the sleeper of the whole tape. Pretty lady is something that they not gonna even expect me to do. Like where people, that come from? People gotta understand. Okay, we do comedy. Right. We do comedy. Comedy is your personality. Right. Bro. You feel what I'm right, saying? Right. Like that's your when you on stage, that's Carlos Miller. Right. That's his personality. Right. You feel what I'm saying? We they don't add when you're on stage, you're not doing you're doing something that you love, but it's something else that you like to do, but you can't do it because you you're doing comedy right now. Talk that's your personality. So when I'm on stage, that's my personality, but music is my passion. This is something that I also take my time out and right. practice and go over as well. You feel what I'm saying? So I I wanted to catch them off good to show that I'm musically inclined 
Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like you taking me for a a, a comedy a comedian, but I can literally write your favorite rapper a hit. Right. And when mind him rapping it, okay. or them or uh, your favorite R and B artist singing a hit, I wouldn't care. You know, some people be be mad and be like, I wanted to be me on the. I yeah, be I comedy. Fuck, I'm already on the I stage. With pretty lady. I'm on the stage. Yeah, so hard. that it, 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 I just had to show that I was musical. When I heard the beat, I straight went into reggae overseas. I told my producer, um, no, to be. I said, that's that's I can't do no nigga shit to this. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's where I got the vibe off that one from. So if you rhyme with a farm bitch, you can skip and go straight to to four and go back to day. No, you just got to show what's really right. going on. You know I, what I mean? She ain't even got to be foreign. Just a pretty ass hood bitch with a new weave. You feel me? Hell yeah. Real talk. All right, the first feature come on track six. You man, day day. My boy day day. You my, know. You know, I took him kind. Of, I kind of took him back to the club to get him ready for my, for the covers. Right. You know what I'm saying? I know I had the covers coming up, so I kind of took him back to the club. He got the club going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Then plus he's a feature, and then you know, it's a, he's an upcoming artist. He's an upcoming artist from Atlanta. You know what I mean? My part, my close partner. You know what I mean? Yeah. From Atlanta, we went to school together, Price Middle School. You know what I'm saying? So West I'm just shit. West Side shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to keep the loop together. You know what I mean? On, on coming up, man. That's my boy. He doing his thing, and I salute and I just put it on the tape. There you go. Key to the streets. You you done fucked up street. another another remix. Hey man, you done fucked up another remix. The crazy part about it, I was gonna do number covers. Right. I was gonna do. I just, think that's a whole separate tape though. Yeah, I was just gonna do number covers, especially since the panda shit did what it did. Yeah, like that was kind of like the first like, oh, this nigga really. Cause I be getting mad sometimes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not really. I'm not hating on nobody. I just take my aggression out. On 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 what I do, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's just like a football player. If you get mad, so you just take your aggression out on the field, then right. you know what I'm saying? You you tighten up and you go on the field. So when I be hearing motherfuckers, and they be like, "Oh, this person go crazy," or this like if you listen to music, people who listen to music, music, it's oh. music, it's music out there that I still don't know about. There's great music, and I be wanting to find out great music. Right. People who actually study music and listen to music, they don't. Condone this new ass shit. That new ass shit. That's what they call it. I like the new ass shit. That new ass. But they call it. That'll be a tight little name for it. They call it new ass ass shit. Then them niggas don't listen to, bro. I don't think nobody after two thousand. Damn. That's how they feel. They like motherfuckers from two thousand on up. This shit has been garbage. You know what I mean? The only person they might respect is Beyonce. So much shit that's been dropped in between that that got slept on or it's just like music was coming out so fucking fast people didn't get to consume it the same way. But like I said, like like I had to tell them, you can't hate on the genre of today music. You gotta think about it. I'm so through with that argument, man. If you don't like that shit, turn it off. It's the genre of today. You gotta think about it. Back in the 70s and and like... But I think the '80s. That's, that's the when. Shit about all the that's new when music. the when it rap first come out. Motherfuckers don't like it. What about what about when rap first hit? It, they, it wasn't it no rap. Shit? It was just R and B, nigga. Every child, <laughs> go to this baby. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And this goddamn but. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It right, wasn't right. no. Ain't no it wasn't no rap. Right. It wasn't nothing. So when rap hit. You gotta think about how many rap artists it was from from them shit was really here like Roxanne, Roxanne. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Like from NWX, the WX. You know what I'm saying? Like but that's NWX. what I'm saying. All that shit caught the same criticism nigga, when it came. Nigga, all that from the Biggie, from the Tupac, from the Nas, from the Jay. You know what I'm saying? Like. Right. Nigga, that shit, it was an epidemic, you know what I'm saying? So it, it just had to transform. But so. that's why you can't expect these young niggas to really come out and rap about a whole bunch of shit. They young, they don't know shit yet. It's going to come eventually. And this the generation. Yeah, this shit going to come eventually. You know what I'm saying? Let's so, get back to the mixtape, man. Let's do it. Key to the street. Key to the streets. I just had to hit them with one of the hottest songs out. Uh, salute um, my boy Lucha and um, the Migos. They going crazy. Right them, now. Bro. You know what I'm saying? They going crazy. Then so you I just had to go crazy. Again. I just had to go crazy on that beat. You been going crazy. Because I man. I really feel like I got the key to the streets this is on the west side. It's a real strong tape, man. I got the key to the streets on the west side. Nigga, real this ain't just the west side, nigga. I mean, it's Atlanta, man. Them boys doing they third. I mean, you know, they like north. Right, right, right. Like, right. Real north, north, right. north of that shit. But, you know what I'm saying? I salute them because they going crazy. You know what? Lucha doing his thing. He repping Atlanta strong. It's you know, my, Thug repping Atlanta strong. Quan repping Atlanta strong. Any nigga Atlanta that strong. might fuck your hoe and pay her bills. You know what I'm saying? Man. So you got to fuck with a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga say he might fuck your hoe and pay her bills. So I salute everybody who represent, you know what I'm saying, the A, but you know, when it comes to that West Side shit. Yeah. Hey, but they, they all me, John. I, I argue with a nigga about that one. We'll go back and forth. <laughs> we'll go back and forth. So I ain't hey, I'm putting on the most for this side. <laughs> nigga, tell me about this wishing, though. 
Man, wishing. Wishing I always I like this song. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to get on it just to just to fuck with a couple big producers. <laughs> Wishing that I was your nigga. You know what I'm saying? And that's really talk. That's you know what, what I'm saying? I, I'm always wishing I was a bitch nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I want to be yours. Just for that night, bitch. Don't, just don't for get a happy. little bit. Exchange, my nigga. It's, you know, Bryson Tiller had the game fucked up. He got. He still do, though. If he, he come back with one and just go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how it is. I mean, I guess I can feel it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you get the game and you get it, like. Real strong, and you got that motherfucker last. I think that 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 tape went platinum, didn't it? Shit, it gotta be. That motherfucker went stupid. You know what I'm saying? So I had to go. I just had to get on something that went crazy, and it's a song that I like. First of all, you got to think about it. It's like a Lil Wayne. If I get on your track, I like the song, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's not only hiding the streets. It's hiding the streets, but I like it as well. So it made me get in the booth and think of some shit to to do on your track. You know what I'm saying? What about this nice and slow? Man, that, I just had to go back to the Usher, man. That was always one of my favorites. I used to sing that Ursh? shit. I used to sing that shit to the females in school, bro. I bet you came up. What? One time. But then you you rounded the tape off and ended that bitch on a classic. Classic. Charlene. 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 That's probably my favorite out of the couple. That's my favorite. I, I, I listened to that one because you know why? Well, check this out. I, before you even tell, we got, I got to ask you this shit. Before you even say that part, uh, nigga, you got an R&B tape. Now niggas gonna be asking, "Hey Fly, you ever had your heart broke?" Hell yeah, man! You had your your heart broke. I done had that shit broke. I done had it broke, and I'm talking I had about a, some real sucker shit, straight man, sucker straight, man, real God lame damn, niggas. Sick, you sick on some sick. First of shit. all, niggas know me for being up and rowdy in school. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't did me all day. I'm sitting in the chair. She had you sick and fuck, bro. Nigga, yeah, I don't like you here. Folk were like, damn, fly, what's up? You ain't joining nobody, you ain't doing nothing. I'm like, hey, I ain't really in the mood. She had you fucked up like that, I bro. Ain't really in the mood. What happened? I had a cold without having a cold. What coal. happened, bro? You got to tell the story. You on your R&B I, shit. Nah, this, man. This is what happened, right? I was this is an 85 South Show exclusive. You ain't gonna never the, hear this shit I was in the ninth else. grade. Ninth grade. And I met this girl at the scary. I don't know how she know my name. Well, you know, I... I was a little famous at the scary because I knew, to, I knew how to skate like a You was on MySpace, right? No. That wasn't MySpace. I could do my people. Oh, okay. People, I was a people man. If I go to my profile right now, Lil Hill, Vaseline all on my face. You feel what I'm saying? So I met her at the scary Little all, chick at the scary ring. All I heard was John. I turned around, she was playing. She I was turned fine. back around. Hey, yeah, she ninth grade cute. fine. Ninth grade fine. Uh, and I thought I felt like the love of my life, bro. You feel me? In but ninth grade. She bro. told me, this is the thing, bro. She told me the day before she broke up with me, right? She said, Never met a man in my life to treat me so good. God brought you. When you bring God into the situation, what is ninth grade? I don't it's care, bro. You brought God into the situation. You love me, bro. You bring God to the situation. You love me. The next day, she said, "I don't think this can work out." But God has I, I said, you, you lied to me and God. Now this in the bigger hands than me and you. Did you talk to God about this before you just broke up with me? You feel what I'm saying? She broke up with me, bro, and I was just like, "What? That was crazy." They come to find out, he was he was my partner later on down the line. Like he ended up being my my partner, no. and that was our girl. No. I swear on that, we treated. I mean, we didn't really, but we used to be talking like, "Who gonna kiss her today?" Oh, <laughs> damn, fly. We both loved the bro. And when we told each other stories, we he was like, "Oh, that was you who she broke up with." I was like. So you is the nigga she went with. He was like, yeah, I was like, damn. I mean, we both loved him, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right, so, that's the, bro, out that's of the most, all the shit I done ever heard you say, I think that's the craziest shit I ever heard. No, and then it's like, she right there to verify the story. Real talk. My nigga. Real talk. And we got stories of, this used to do me dirty, like, you know, all right, people, my, my people are the past. You right. know what I'm saying? She, she used to be dirty on this, bro. Like, folk used to read it. Like, I swear she used to be dirty. Like, talk to, to these she used to people. Pull up, man. She used to pull up. This after high school. All right, this ninth grade. Ninth grade, so ninth grade when she broke my heart. Grammy interview with DC. I'm like, nah, I, ninth grade when she broke my heart. I got over this shit. I ain't tripping, but we talked on and off over the years. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Now, this after high school. We don't, we, we ain't no going to the same high school in 10th grade. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't really tripping. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. You know what I'm saying? So this after high school. You know, I still got love for Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, she used to pull up 
just to see what I'm doing, you know, you see a dope and stuff, and she's, I mean, one time, I got in the car, right, she was like, you out here selling drugs, and that's unsafe, I put out a lot, I put out a lot of money, I'm like, baby, we can go wherever you want to go, <laughs> but I was flexing, cause we ain't going no goddamn well, you feel what I'm saying, but I just, I knew I had money to do, to go out to eat, right? To go bowl, ten grade yeah, shit. Yeah, no, this 19, 18, 19 shit. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So, and then she, I remember one time she said, "Did you just have a shootout?" I'm like, "Yeah." She said, "I can't be around that. That's not. I don't feel sex around you." I said, "Bitch, <laughs> ain't I'm still here? Accordingly, I can shoot. What are you saying? I ain't gonna let nothing happen to you." And then crazy on down the line. No one was injured in the shootout. No, nobody was injured in the shootout. But no, crazy on that line, I get famous. She come around. And crazy, I have never hit. Don't. Don't. I, I hit already. Know your worth, I hit bro. after I got famous. Bro. Don't hit. She gave it to me. It was decent. It was straight, you know what I'm mean? saying? Shout out to her. That decent ass. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to. She got that decent. I'm not trying to down you. She got that decent. Well, it was better than decent, though. It was better than decent. It was better than decent. It was okay. We're not going to say your name because I still got We're not going to say your name because you know it you was fucked just, up. it was better than decent. Hey, man, I'm about to read a comment. No, it was better than decent, though. Yeah, no, Real man, talk. I, I just didn't want the shit to be too much, you know? No, it's okay. Because at the end, she know. And when I hear it, she start crying. I was like, why? She said, because you're not going to fuck with me no more. So, exactly. you know, I had to play it cool like. Man, what you talking about? But in my head, I'm like, you're right. You motherfucker. You're right. Man. You shitted on me, man. You got your revenge. And oh, you, I got that's it. that's great payback. See what happens when you keep your faith in God? Man, I know for a fact she's gonna hear this shit. She's gonna, she gonna text me about it. That's all right, man. But I'm like, you know, I still hey, love you. When you hear for, when you hear this shit, don't text them about it. Nah, she can text me about it. Nah, don't text them about she it. She know I still love her. That, oh, I had to tell shit. the truth. I had to tell the truth. This it the would be me. South show. We be telling the truth. 85 South Show, we be telling the truth. 85 South Show, we be telling the truth. Telling the truth. Telling the truth. Can you put auto tune on shit? Put auto tune on shit. Make the shit sound real good. Hey, telling the truth. Telling the truth. Telling the truth. We're telling the truth. I want to sound like Blue from the Tim Say, we be telling the truth. Yeah, hey, we hear that shit. We be telling the truth. Hey. Shout out to the 85 South Show audience. We know we're not the only niggas who done been through some shit. Everybody had their heart broke. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. For the fine bitches. They like to eat hot Cheetos. And then do their hair and get a little Cheeto I dust on the edges. I hate them ghetto with the hot flavor Cheetos and the pickle. Yeah, man. Like, bitch, that ain't delicious. Check this out. I got to get back <laughs> in the comment section. See what the comments is what they talk talking about. about. Uh, nigga said, uh, uh, Starks TV, salute to y'all 85 South boys. Salute to you too, Stark. Um, I had to stop a nigga. He was selling counterfeit 85 South show shirts. The shirt said 40 plus 20. Plus 25 South. <laughs> and instead of a hatchet, the nigga had a butter knife shaking my goddamn head. Salute, bruh, for staying on the job. My man Jonathan Edmonds says, when y'all coming to Charlotte? We tried. March 8th. We in that we bitch. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga Rob P says, bro, I fuck with y'all. I really watch everything y'all post. Subscribe and I'm in the notification game. Los be on some shit. Drop the mixtape. Stop bullshit. Shout out to DC, Clayton, and Chico. Once fuck niggas ain't in style, y'all got it. Right. For real, for real. <laughs> About the splurge on the merchandise, I got y'all. Big salute to my partner. I know y'all wonder, why are you reading like that? Because a lot of motherfuckers can't hear well and they, they can't read <laughs> out Excuse loud. Why? So I had to read the shit slow and big so everybody could feel like they're part of the group. I learned that. DC, you all right? Oh, Mo David, we just indigestion, you know I mean? ad, little boy. We just trying to make sure this shit ain't popping. You feel know what I'm saying? Oh shit! Did you see this comment? What? Oh, this. You want me to read the shit? What you doing? Which one? I oh, read, I was reading read some shit. shit man. Okay, Vela be on me, man. Say, God damn it! The live version of that pussy got a smell, but I'm a fuck though. Got some competition with this one. Oh, hell no, hell no. We appreciate you, bitch. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. That's it. I ain't know what that was. Okay. 
Uh, Roosevelt Lewis, it said this podcast is for niggas who ride around with the check engine light on. Talk about I'm just going to ride it. P.S. Got some coochie out DC new R.B. fans right now. That's what I do. Do shit like that, man. You happy, man. That's what it's for. That's what I want. I don't want to just only sing your bitch draws Oh, off. we got to I want to help you sing another nigga bitch's draws off, man. Hey. Shout out to Lil Duval who got a he got some shit in the streets. The uh, I'm dropping dick off. That's a banging ass song. So salute to Lil Duval. Salute you heard the shit? Uh uh-uh. uh. He got the R and B song. He dropped called I'm dropping dick off. For real. Right. The shit hard. I got a hit. You get it? I'm dropping dick off. The shit hard. That was free promo. Free, free promo. I'll be here all weekend, my nigga. I do that. I Dominique do. Porter, he said, you ever see the end of Jamie Foxx? I might need security when he's singing, playing piano, and cutting jokes. I watch that and think if there is anyone out talented enough to put all those skills together, some would say Donald Glover, but I think DC is the chosen one. I think DC is. I know for a fact you're chosen Appreciate it. One. I just can't play the piano, dog. Nigga, we going to hire a nigga to play the nah, piano. No, I'm really going to learn how to play it because it's, it's the feeling. You got to. Uh, mm-hmm. Right. You got to do all that. Right. We're going to hire a nigga to do this Need shit. It. And then we'll just make it look like you playing the shit. Niggas just we'll adding shit on. Post. Niggas just adding we'll shit, shit on. Post. You know what I'm saying? Slick the, shit. The Nigga, magic of slick. production. I see that. Man, Niggas. watch the magic of Niggas production. Niggas, he talking about saying. Joe, show them the magic of production, my nigga. Put a wand this in my nigga head. Nigga, he trying to be slick. Hey, man, put me one of them Mickey Mouse <laughs> wands. Nigga, 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 Drop some glitter on there. That so funny, nigga, drop some, hey, I'm sprinkling glitter on these bitches. Hey, man, nigga. if your production team don't go hard... <laughs> Nigga, I'm salt, baby. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't fine. Put some salt on my shit, man. <laughs> Why you only got two on? Hey, oh, you got some more. You know who this podcast is for, right? Who is for? Do you know who the podcast is for? No, I don't. Nigga. You don't know who the. Let's listen here, buddy. Before we get over here, welcome back. 92 AM Rebel Radio, goddammit. We're in this motherfucker. How you doing over here? I'm doing really good. Listen here, buddy. I'm off this red bull and I'm feeling. Yeah! Listen here, buddy. We just got back from Cancun, Mexico. Me and. Brother Stevie went down there. We met these two waitresses over there at Waffle House down in South Georgia. They had one uh, vacation trip down there. Well, tell them about Cancun. When we I went, I went to Cancun. We went okay. down there. I had we a, got uh, the pictures on the Facebook I had, page. I had three grounds of powder. Go I ahead. was listening to the, the dude. Listen, cook. don't. You can't tell them that. 92 a.m. Rebel Radio. Oh, we had six grams of powder, but it, don't tell them. Dude. All right. It was really it wasn't five, enough. It, it really wasn't was five enough. grams because I took a gram out Listen, on the way there. It, it wasn't enough. All right, Can't all right. New Mexico, you're supposed to have a lot of cocaine. All right, Randy. I'm find a little bit. Go ahead. I took a gram out on the way to Cancun because I knew everybody was going to be a part of that. Okay. Yeah, sneak our own drug over. Okay. Who I'm, sneaks drugs in Mexico? I was in, oh, we was in Mexico, not Cancun. Cancun is in Mexico. Wow. I thought I was somewhere. The first else. annual 92 AM Rebel Radio Cancun, Mexico trip. It was Randy, Stevie, Tanya, and her sister, Tiffany. Javier told me we was in the Dominican Republic. That was Cancun, He told Mexico. me we was in Cancun, Dominican. You started drinking in, in, at the airport, and hell, you didn't wake up till Thursday afternoon. That's why I miss you, Dominican Republic. Every time we get around some people who speak the Spanish, you think we're in the Dominican Republic. I'm, I'm sorry, Mexico. I thought I was in the Dominican Republic. Well, hell, they haven't heard from you. God damn it, where you been? They tried to take us off the air. Why they tried to take us off the air? Well, we had some old footage come out. Well, they they, they accused me of using the N-word. <laughs> so we've been off the air for a couple of weeks. That's why we went down to Mexico to regroup. But we I got a new manager down here anywhere. at the station. He understood what it was. He, it was some old footage, and it had been doctored on. We only use the N-word for empowerment. Yeah. Empowerment. Yeah, because they know we got uh, N-words in our family. We don't just say N-words. We just we say N-words and hold up the fist. We be like, the neighbor's good. Okay? Yeah, yeah, we, it's great. We, we was listening to some okay. rap music, and it was blown out of proportion, but... We're glad to be back with our listeners. You know what you've been doing? You've been listening to that damn Beyonce lemonade song. You've been drinking. Well, I You've been drinking. I was listening to that because I was hey, going hey, to do it. I don't know what the fuck it. she's saying right there, but it's, hey, man, hey, man, I'm, I've been drinking. Well, I was, gonna, I was listening to some Beyonce. I was going to do an expose on it, but they had took the whole project down when the, the N-word tape came out. And uh, salute to Paulo Dean. Don't you stood up for what's right? Yeah, extra man eight. Uh, we got the first annual 92 a.m. Rebel Radio East Atlanta Barbecue Competition opening up. It's 
going to be at the end of May. We're going to be uh, taking submissions. You can go to the 92 AM. Well, we don't have no website. You can go to the 85 South Show. And, well, they're not going to post it. Well, you just keep listening and I'll tell you about it. How about that? Got the barbecue festival coming up real soon. My name is goddamn, you know my name. And listen here, we'll be right back after this. We still got a couple of those Usher Raymond t-shirts left over. Yes, we do. And we got some car wash memorabilia coming up. We're supposed to have an interview coming up in a couple of weeks with ASAP Rocky. I haven't heard none of his music, but he's supposed to come up here. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you guys right after this commercial break. Bring it back! Nigga, this podcast is for niggas who got titties in the building as they ring tone and it go off in church. That's my man Harris Miller right here. Somebody hit me on social media and was like, nigga, this podcast is for niggas who uh, go over their homeboy house and their mama walk in and they just start singing titties in their building in the head. I was like, that's disrespectful as fuck. Really is. But everybody. But if she got titties, you better go ahead and see it. Ooh, mama got them titties. Though. Oh, have you ever seen it? You just be like, you got, you can't really. You saw you, your homeboy mama titties. You can't really just say it, but when you do like this, oh, she already knew what you were oh. saying. You like, Damn. she like, mm hmm. <laughs> like, I didn't. I, I thought you was about to tell that story. I was like, nigga, you the most interesting motherfucker I know. You, you saw your nigga? homeboy mama titties, nigga. What do I? You saw your homeboy, Mama. You want to hear a story? I won't tell that Man, story. Listen, Paula. Eighty-five South Show. First of all, where the I best come stories from, stories you never heard. Where I come from, you never bring your homeboy over to the crib. Okay, who really first get money. of all, where I come from, you never bring your homeboy over to the crib. Who really get money? You feel what I'm saying? He's one. not really a regular homeboy. He's a homeboy who can pay bills. You feel what I'm saying? So when I came over, you know what I'm saying? Oh, she know a little John John getting the problem. You know what I'm saying? On the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? So I come over. You know what I'm saying? I, she had like one of them little bikini top. You know, I'm talking about one of the one where you can't really just. He my homeboy, but he ain't my homeboy, homeboy. That's where, and like, up. I don't call him mama, mama. That's fucked up. Because if I don't call your mama, mama, she, your mama allowed to get fucked. If she Miss Jones. What the fuck? What the fuck? What uh, the fuck? If you he call just... her her last name, Miss Jones. Man, he trying to fuck your mama, nigga. That's crazy. So you better tell your partner to call my mama mama from now on. You wow. feel what I'm saying? So I go over. Wow. I'm like, Shocking. damn, hey, Miss John. She like, hey, fly. Then you she know she you fly? Come on, man. You this know what time it is, right man. Here, Big man. titty. Big <laughs> titty. And she knew what's up. Made him go to the store and get some blunts. He like, bro, you want to ride? She talking about now. Nah, I want to talk to him about something. This some ghetto ass shit. It was one of those days. <laughs> We've been waiting for you. Uh, I laid up with his mama three's company too. Moral of the story is don't leave famous niggas around your mama. Even if don't they're just leave locally me famous. Around your mama. You know a lot hey. of shit been happening. Don't leave me around your mama. I'm a favorite nigga. Don't leave me around your mama. I'm my favorite nigga. You don't know that I might get your won't more uh, out today. You might not understand. Your mama say he's a great young man. He be doing shows in different cities. I'm gonna cook some food and let him see my titties. Cause she's a nice lady. Hey. Make the mashed potatoes with the gravy. Hey. Coming over Saturday afternoon. Hey. Saw the titties. Sunday afternoon. She really liked me cause I graduated from high school. High school. She don't like her son because he didn't. He's a damn fool. A damn fool she y'all. really want her son to grow up and be like me. Like you, She y'all. make him go to the store and bruh, I seen them titties. We saw the titties. We saw them titties. Hey. Hey. Your, mama titties. Yep. Your mama titties. Yeah. Your mama titties. Yeah. We she saw the titties. <laughs> She got she got stretch marks. Okay, I, I saw a mind. different set of titties. Yep, they had a tattoo right here. Yep, the year nineteen seventy eight. Yep, somebody died. Yep, or was somebody born? I don't know. I seen the lady titty. She had a a panther on her titty. I knew when she was young, it, it was like this, but now it's like. Ah. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> this is the eighty-five South Show, man. You know what type of shit been going on since we did a, the show last? What happened, nigga? They had a Hot Boys reunion at the All Star Game. You ain't go to this shit. I ain't, ain't go. I wish I. Oh, would. nigga! Everybody was there, nigga. Uh, Lil Tunchy, Juvenile was there. Hot Boy, Lil Turk, 
many fresh bird man. It was I wish, it I, was, man, there, man. I wish BG would have been there. That was the only shit missing. Shit was beautiful, man. The Migos been on Ellen. Got social media in a frenzy. They holding up uh, thousands of dollars. Ellen got 50. That's what you call reverse flexing when you act like you ain't got it and everybody know you got it. Oh shit! Oh, uh, this is a terrible headline that I'm reading over here on the flat screen that we paid for. We just leaving this bitch because we got money like that. We got a big ass eighty inch over there. Don't show him. Don't show him. Don't show him. That's where I'm getting all this information from. Shout out to this big ass TV. Oh, the strippers. Shout out to Chad who keep right. adding shit. Right. The strippers at the Claremont Lounge. They not having like a, a a day car wash. They doing like a, a car wash month or some shit. Who? They need Where some these fun. strippers at? Who the hell them hoes well, at? I can't really call them strippers because anybody from the city that know anything about the Claremont Lounge, that is just a novelty place that you take people when they come from out of town on some late night. Somebody. Let me fuck your, your eyesight up. Uh, yeah. So much love to all the ladies. The These are not strippers. These are grown ass, old ass ladies who just like they babysit in the daytime and strip at night. It's, it's nasty. Yeah, but shout out to all those ladies over there. We hope you get your funds together. DC Young Fly, what did you think about the Valentine's Day live show? It was lit. That shit was. It was lit, man. You know, we could actually, we had quarters mics where I could really interact with the fans. Um, much love to everybody who came out and shout supported out to Red the live, Bull, man, for the live show. Alive. Shout out to Red Bull. Backwoods, Backwoods came through and showed much love. They brought Backwoods and T-shirts. Hats, all types of gifts, flashlights, knives, keychains. Uh, somebody got their car jumped off. We had some backwoods jumper cable. Think it's backwoods. I'm fucking backwoods, man. On they the they keep that high. When you smoke out of backwood, you just don't be high, man. You literally be floating, nigga. You do. Your legs is off the ground. Man, we about to go smoke a backwood in a minute. Have you ever shit it in the air? What are you talking about, sir? It feel like you shit in hell. You, hey, you know high? what I realized at the live show? What happened? That I didn't realize how many white people fuck with the show. No one just regular white people. Them white people that say the N word, nigga. What kind of white people fuck with this show? The ones who say nigga, man. Why they saying nigga? Like, why would they, they feel be comfortable? Nigga? We make them feel comfortable. And that's so you what we trying to, to say we this show so hood and so real that it make white people feel like niggas? Yes, I didn't know this. Then why do they want it? Jerome, Jeremy, Jordan, whatever the white people name Bob is telling his other pop like nigga. You gotta hit When we shit. say some shit, they go up to their pop and be like nigga. You gotta see these niggas. Man, these niggas, Carlos, DC, fuck me. Man, them niggas funny. They hey, say man, that shit. Hey man, y'all don't ever say that shit while we around. I Real talk. Man. We, fuck, we man. say that until we actually get in with a predicament of a guy. Bro, I told you, bro, I, was, I used to get babysitted by a white nigga. Babysitted. He was a J. He like a crackhead. You used to get babysitted, my nigga. Real talk. Word, like my sister bro. leave and it be me and her two kids and, and then, and then white boy Josh get babysit by white boy Josh. I'm like ten, I can watch myself, but I'm really watching white boy right. Josh babysit the kids. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Cause I don't trust white you boy Josh. Watching the babysitter. Man, that nigga fucked around and said nigga one time like, no, man, y'all niggas slow down. I was like, we were running around the house. I stuck me in there like, nigga, what the fuck? I had a nigga just. I said, white, what you just say? He said. Yeah, he had no teeth like right in. He said, well, John, you know what I mean. I'm not saying it like oh, that. Oh, shit. I said, man, I was a child. I, I feel like I could whoop his ass anyway. I just kept running. Wow. Wow. That is a terrible story. I hate it ended that way. I thought it was violence. I thought three little nine-year-olds whooped the white boy ass. I'm sorry. No, nah, I'm going to tell you, wow. we went to some school, and we stood on top of their school. Like some white people rolled by. I'm like, y'all niggas get off of there. I'm like, fuck y'all. They rolled by like one of them doodle children. And I'm like, all right, y'all, let get the fuck off around here before they turn around. What else been going on, man? We've been wilding, they, bro. We have been wilding. I mean, Donald Trump is the president currently. Um, I think he's going to get impeached. <clears throat> he got to. This motherfucker doing the absolute most. That's why he's doing the most until he get impeached. I, he going to be the first president we had impeached in a long time. Like, like they just going to be like, man, come on, man. Like, they just going to be like, man, come on, man. Just, just come on, man. They ain't going to be no public announcement. They just going to they gonna be like, Trump, come here. Let me, like, Look. Let me holler at you, fam. Hey, my nigga. Yeah. Hey, hey, bro, come out you, you not only fucking with the niggas, but you fucking with us, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And he gonna That's be why like, I was shouting out the illegal immigrants, man. So what you, what you really thought I was going to do? They should move to the hood. We ain't got no paperwork either. Niggas ain't got paperwork on nothing. I had, to tell, license, I, I had to tell a white boy, nothing. I said, bro, you go get food stamps, bro. They probably All you got to do is lie. White people getting all the food stamps. White people are getting all the food stamps. 
Nobody wants to talk about it. Nope. Hey, we got some more fan mail. Sierra and Marie Adair. I love 85 Council. I watch y'all all day with my folks. We appreciate I'm you. I'm waiting on my hoodies I bought. My new one because I love him. Lightweight. LOL. <laughs> And lighter and ashtray. I missed the old intro. Eighty-five, bye, bye. We'll bring it back. We'll bring it back just for you, cat. They that's, want the old. That's intro. crazy that you knew exactly what that was. Cause I would have said and crazy. Niggas be like, man, who is that? I'm like, man, I that's me. Who, who you? Who think it is? <laughs> um, P.S. You a good reader. This podcast bro. is for niggas who look good at fuck with the hat on. Soon as they take that bitch off, they look like what the fuck. Colors look good either way though. Can't forget DC and Clayton. I'm not gonna say that, but she said y'all handsome too. Uh, I love when y'all have what you. Yeah, we love you too. Thank you, 85 South Show. We always showing. Uh, we love you love. too, you little bitch. We ain't gonna never have shit. I mean, we literally gonna never have shit. They're like, well, so we well, can't win no Super Bowl. They can't get no thank you. Yeah, punk motherfuckers. It's still Falcons, bitch. bitch. You think that's the first time we done lost you and disappointed bitch. the city? You, you punk you motherfuckers. Bitch. You little stupid whores. You little bitty bitch. And your grandmama nipples ashy, you bitch. whores. Stupid ass bitch. And, and, and your grandfather's short with a, with a, with a, with a, with a ball spot. Stupid ass ah, bitch. Boy, stupid ass stupid little ass whores. Bitch. Little dumb ass. You, why, 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 why you look at that arm yeah. short? That's why you can't hold his dick when he pee, stupid yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. The bad St- bitch. Stupid prostitutes. You let them ass hoe. I we gotta get black. We gotta get black youngster up here, bro. Man, he gonna go crazy. We got, hey, bro. Hit that nigga. We gotta, the nigga. You can dance on all this shit when you come up here, black no youngster. No, the fuck, he can't. You can he stand on all these goddamn no, tables. He gonna buy this shit too. He can. You little bit of bitch, black youngster. Hey, you nigga, little whore. Nigga, you, you, you gotta come up here and holler at us at the 85 nigga, South Show. I'm gonna scoot, I'm, I'm scoot my laptop right in on his foot. I'm like, yep, you yep. gonna buy me a motherfucker. Motherfucking dude. right. And guess what he gonna <laughs> fuck do? Wrong with you. He gonna do the butterfly on that bitch and throw you $1,500 on it. I don't get the fuck this computer. You, you, you little whores. You, you, fuck. you Google search I'm that like, nigga. Stop throwing them hundreds <laughs> on me. Just hand them. Just hand it to me. You know me. You ain't got to throw it on me. Hey, shout out to Kyrie Irving for saying the earth is flat. That nigga been smoking backwoods too. I mean, the fact that it's a social phenomenon that Kyrie thinks the world is flat is hilarious to me. <laughs> shout out to Dwayne Wade. That nigga lives blacker than mine. Yellow ass ass. We know what you and Gabrielle Union are doing. Shout out to Taraji P. Henson. That bitch was high as fucking figures doing that calculus. I don't blame you, too, Roger. No, you she, got to be happy. She would have baby, baby boy in that rain when she got that nigga. dose land on her face. Oh, when she was like, he don't he love me oh. no more. She was like, I'm about to blow my heart. Can y'all get these things that y'all want, please? Oh, all that cry she I, did. Hey, I love me some Taraji P. I Henson. Love her too, Shout bro. out to Denzel Washington and Viola Davis. I watched Fences yesterday. Now I can't wait to see my real daddy. I want to fight this nigga just, <laughs> just off, just off GP. I fuck with Fences. They just the Fences. Talking. That shit was hard. They were just man. talking so goddamn. That's the much, whole. Bro. It's dialogue driven movie. I can't. I can't listen to a nigga talk all day. You know how you you, you really got the a, point. You got really the point thirty play, minutes ago. But the nigga keep giving you like he breaking bit like bullet points down. From yeah, he's an asshole he like, father. That's why I want to fight my dad. They all do that shit. Tell like, you all this backwards ass shit that they got to be dead and gone, and you got to be grown in your life to get. Nigga, just tell me. That's like a nigga come back telling you they ain't had no bread at the store, but he breaking down on every aisle he went on and told and reason why. They ain't had no bread. Like, I went on aisle one because they ain't had no cookers that what? I was looking for. And then when they had no cookers I was looking for, I was looking for a Sprite. And then oh, I went to the back and they had no Sprite. Though. And then when I went around and they ain't even had no Starburst. And then when I had the Starburst and get what? They ain't had no bread. Oh, nigga, I ain't got candy. They didn't want no fucking bread, but nigga. But that is, they black fathers. They don't do shit. That's logical. They got to drop shit Nigga, everything out. I love, I counted a million words for right. the first 10 minutes. But, you know, it's a, it's based off a of play, so it's more dialogue driven. I don't so. care, bro. We weren't <laughs> watching no play, bro. We watching a yeah. movie, bro. You feel me? I thought a but musical. See, you ain't it was so much. Shit, I thought a like, musical was gonna break out. I'm looking for my son. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, boy, this shit is crazy. Fuck, <laughs> bro. Real talk, bro. It was just so much talking. It was. You remember when Denzel was like, "Hey, don't strike out, nigga." The nigga never struck out though. I tell you that much. Um, what else? Well, uh, you seen Hidden Figures? Have you seen that? Man, that shit good. I saw like the first good, twenty fuck. minutes of that shit. That's why I see why black women so tired. Yeah, of yeah. They out here sending motherfuckers out of space. Like back in the day, they was called computers. Some exactly. people were called computers. Yeah, like, that they, shit was that's crazy. Why we can't, that's why you can't. Hey, go get one of those computers from down up. Nah, they was picking your ass up. 
taking you to the boss, nigga. You right. know what I mean? Like, but that's why crazy. black men can't cheat on black women. This she can figure out they your motherfucking fuck. trigonometry with these hoes and your trajectory with a bitch. It, come up with the math, like Come nigga, on, the man. probability of you. They already is too know. High. They already know when you kissing her wrong. Like, why you ain't suck my bottom lip? Be like, bitch, I ain't. Kidding. Hey man, Damn, I, bitch. Hey man, I really hate to bring this shit up on the eighty five South show because I ain't petty. I but am. the audience is petty. Tell me. I, I really don't want to say this shit because you was right, my nigga. When was you I was right? right? You was right. You was right, and I was wrong. When? Man. When, motherfucker? Look, dog. You when? remember when you said, I still won on the low. You talking about the sneaker, bitch? Yeah, man. What happened? Man, you know what happened, no, bro. I Stop didn't. acting, bro. You yeah. seen the shit, bro. What did I see? So we get up on back. Hey, we get up on Valentine's Day, right? Okay. Eric, she done posted the picture with, oh, uh, in love with Bay. Guess <gasps> who she on here with? Who? The white man. The old ass white man. I, they hitting the 85 South Show page like, bro, y'all see this? Y'all see this? Y'all see this? That shit is crazy, so, bro. nigga, you let us down that time. You really disappointed. But uh, y'all, y'all just really think I just be talking, bro. I don't sometimes be you talking, do, though. bro. But sometimes. No, I don't. All right, but sometimes. No, I don't. You won. We just fuck it. Right, you man. won. We just letting you know that Thank you won. You. And sometimes we're gonna. We're, all right, fuck it. Sometimes I might just get over a little overboard, just a little bit, just a four wheel. Yeah, you know we ain't mad though. Salute to Shanika. We hope you find all the happiness that you need. You and this old ass white man. You went from an old nigga to an old white man. You gonna find that nigga eventually. Yeah, no. We wish, wish you the best love. at the eighty five. Tell her we wish her the best. Tell her we wish her the flat. Tell her we wish her the best, man. Don't be petty, my nigga. You already won. Tell her you wish her the best. I wish I could put this dick between your breasts. But either yes. way, <laughs> nah, I, I wish we ain't you no did. haters. Wish no, 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 no. On, on everything, Whatever. salute. However you get it, you get it, my right. boy. Right. So that's I mean? the I thing. How was your Valentine's Day, my nigga? It wasn't like that. I it wasn't yeah. like I know. I know. <laughs> it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. Get that shit over there. But hey, we gotta nah, talk since we talked about. You it, let's talk about Valentine's Day. I wish you the best. But uh, but you won. You was right. That nigga that look like he owns so many construction companies. He does. That's why you can't even be mad. The nigga paper long. Paper long. You know his paper long. Because he you... got the white man, no lips. Anytime you see a white man with no lips, they got some long ass bread. She just got the face of, I got you. <laughs> got you, man. Got you. How was your Valentine's Day? Did you get anything? I don't believe in that shit. You ain't have to buy a bunch of shit. Nah, you know what? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Valentine, Talk if you do me. a lot on Valentine that you don't do on a regular day, I mean you ain't shit all you year. have fucked up <laughs> and show her what is you really capable of doing. You feel what I'm saying? So now hey, she bro, like you have some, some straight logic sometimes. Yeah, but you gotta think about it. You go all out. You don't been with some bitch for two years. The most you done took this bitch was probably like the Tennessee or some shit. What she say? Oh. Dinner with my love. That's crazy. <laughs> but if you, if you, but the nigga had the whole smiley face on. Ain't that, ain't that, ain't that but the crazy part, like, if you do something, you go all like, if you've been with your bitch for two years and you only took her like Tennessee or some shit, and then right. on Valentine you go to like Puerto Rico, you buy it all out, you do everything, you lay it all out, nigga. Now she know what you capable of doing. You can't only take her to Tennessee. You probably to took this bitch to Miami. Right. Hey, here at the eighty five South fucked Show, up. you fucked been up. Doing it's a nigga this who listened to this for a whole like, year, right? We've been all we've been doing is trying to promote niggas being better niggas, man. Treat your lady better, my nigga. You don't have just, to better yeah, just, just better, better than yesterday. Just just better better in life. My nigga. Just better than yesterday. Right, my nigga. Don't cheat on you. Try to show her black men life. don't cheat, but if you gonna not be shit, my nigga, like dedicate some time to be shit too. You know what I mean? Don't just not be shit. Just one hundred percent of the time, my nigga. If you not shit like yesterday, like not speaking to her yesterday. Right. Today, speak. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, don't just go from not we talking to this start bitch. The guard some... of Puerto Rico. You right. have now she's like, oh my god, he want to have a baby. No, I don't. I right. just want to take you out the country and fuck you over here. We need to start setting some real nigga <laughs> ground rules because there's a lot of niggas out there who who not in a position who think they in a position. Like my nigga, if you live with your girl, not if it's you and your girl. If you live with your girl, get up. A lot of niggas think just because you live with your girl that y'all live together. No, nigga. You live with your girl. You got to abide by yeah. her rules. Don't get it fucked up, my nigga. You thinking that you live... Yo, you live with her. You you can't get mad at shit. Nigga, have you what? ever had the police called on you and... Nigga, you had if the police come over there, you would find out where you really live, nigga. Nowhere. 
Nigga had to be escorted out. Even if they don't take your goof ass to jail, them, sir, you're no, going to have to leave. they're not going to take your ass to jail. They just going to drive off and you're going to be at the street like, damn, that fucked up. Right. When they tell you, hey, Ebony, don't come always back over here Ebony, or you're going to jail. Out. Ebony! <laughs> crazy, man. So, nigga, if you live with your girl, just know that you ain't running shit. <laughs> and then you got the audacity to be cheating and you homeless, my nigga. Every Come day. on, bro. You you homeless already, and you cheating with a bitch that don't live nowhere. Your girl found out about this shit. Now you and your sad hey. bitch homeless. Come on, man. Is it really worth it, my nigga? <laughs> if you a nigga and you have to borrow any money from anybody, on, man. The nigga up, man. you really can't afford to be out here fucking off. You already don't make enough money to be the nigga you want to be. You got to borrow some money to be the type of nigga that you trying to be? Hey, man. This shit might get too deep for the average nigga. Every then you calling your homeboy. You riding around calling this bitch all night. Not telling this nigga you ain't got nowhere to go. Hey, bro, where you going? Hey, just keep riding, dumbass. Just hoping the nigga be like, hey, you can stay at my crib. But you hey! can't because you a grown man and you got your own responsibility. You can't have a nigga living in your e! living room because he don't know how to act because he live with a bitch. E, baby. <laughs> you could just quit calling her by now. She already got the new nigga over there. You don't even want to go in there now. Not only did she lead you for a better nigga, this nigga can fight good. This nigga gonna beat your ass for coming over your house. The crazy part about it, he coming you over, in. she gonna come out the gate. She gonna come out the window as he coming in. Right. Don't go through that gate. Right. I ain't buzz you up. <laughs> Down, bro. Mm-hmm. Nigga just walk about like, damn, that nigga lame ass. Shout out to all the niggas who got beat up by your old girl, new nigga, and you still love. You ain't learn shit from you. Just ass a sap ass bitch. This is the Valentine's Day shit. Now, this is the leftover shit. Shout out to all the niggas who thought they was in a relationship and your girl didn't even answer the phone to the 17th. <laughs> Talking about she had a meme. That bitch yeah. ain't never had no meme on no, no Tuesday. Right. Shout bitch out to all the other ladies niggas. that had to fuck all her side niggas this Valentine. Now that little pussy so. Ooh, that pussy on fire. Not sore. That little pussy so. Yeah, S-O-A. Mm-hmm. H. Much so, love to all the gangsta so, bitches that follow Plies on Instagram. Uh, I'm who? just saying random shit now. Who? We getting ready to get the fuck out of here. You said who? All the bitches that follow Plies on Instagram. You follow Plies oh. on the gram? Yeah, I follow that. That nigga is fucking hilarious. That nigga is hilarious. No, I, I don't want to know how much question. pussy jokes can he come up with. I got one question for Plies. This nigga been in the car for two years. Where in the <laughs> fuck is he going, bro? Fucking with a bit right now. And you know a bitch when they get that income tight check bite. Bitch. Come in a high earl on me a bit. Ain't no late, bit. Everything a bit say funny, bit. I'm gonna be laughing for a bitch he ain't start talking, bit. At that like a bit I don't criminal. You know he'll argue with me. But he fucking my bit for two. I fuck a bit for two hours, bit. Uh, bitch ain't nothing pull the lad no two hours, bit. I told him, bit, either you got it or she got it, bitch. I'ma quicken me a bit to death, bit. Quick draw my grow, me a I'm leaving that little hoe high this morning, cracker bamming on the door. She come telling me, you can't leave right now, cause them people out there. Bitch, what people? I look at the motherfucking people, list the furniture, bitch. I paid them people. Bitch, you ain't paid nobody, so you just gonna walk out. You think I'ma let you hold me high? Where this nigga going? This nigga don't do Instagram videos. This nigga don't record in the, the house. Crib. Not in the, that nigga, the nigga the go crib. outside. That nigga be in the car in the morning, in the <laughs> afternoon, at night. The three, four in the morning. That nigga always in the car. That nigga this don't nigga, never be in the house. Man, Plaz is driving. He recorded Africa, one time in the man. house and he was talking about his shoes. But other than that, when he talk about them bitches, Bruh. he always leaving the bitch or he going over a bitch house. Bro, I just, I love that nigga creativity. He go in. Though. It's like, it don't matter where you put this nigga, he going to be the most niggerish type of nigga that you can find. Like, this nigga was a red lobster eating the buffet. That nigga posted a picture and all the captions said, well, and it be with my, I'm, he said, I'm in here with my shirt off, bitch. That nigga in Red Lobster with a table full of crabs with his shirt off. Like, like, nigga, that's like, I'm the type of nigga, like, that shit is brilliant to me. You talking about with his shirt off? That nigga know? had his whole shirt off, nigga, at the fucking Red Lobster eating a crab buffet. <laughs> No shit. That's why I love to see. That's why I love to see nigga like Plaz and Black Youngster when they Black Youngster make Black History every time he turn his goddamn phone on. No, I I I, I like I want, the way he be I going crazy. I want that nigga to just start going on a little bitty bitch tour. That's the tour. The, the little bitty bitch, like 
Nigga, I, want, I, I don't give a fuck where I see this nigga at. That nigga do something. Like, that nigga posted a video. I posted it on my page the other day. But the nigga was like, you in the bathroom? Don't speak to me. And the nigga just hit an old, like, 1988 pose. Like, why did he have to hit that pose like that? Why, and it's just like, you watch the video, you have more questions. Like, why this nigga on the counter? Why he doing the butterfly? Why he just called that grandma a bitch? Why did he just say Jesus made him a rich nigga? Why did he just thank God for pussy niggas? I was like, I, was, it's just, I don't know, man. That nigga's a genius to me. I don't give a fuck. People always say that's cooning and embarrassing. Like, we need niggas like that. We need Barack Obama, and we need niggas like Black Youngster. Like, we need, we got, like, for all the, it's got to be another side to the intelligence. Like, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to niggas the out there making it happen. The still talk to Lil Scrappy. I don't know. She looks so goddamn good. <sighs> I feel like if you She's like, so I feel like, me, like right man. now, Bambi is the number one hood chick yeah. on my radar. You Real remember top. how Keisha Cole used to be the number one hood chick? Yeah, I feel yeah. like Bambi. I, it, like if she could sing or some shit, that'll put her right, right over the top. She just don't take no shit from that show. She right. didn't take no shit from them bitches. She like, rode she a bike over that new, nigga house, bro. When she came in, new, that's when I knew she was. Rich. She had the Debo bike with the basket on it. I was like, this nigga don't know what he got. That's a real Cali ass girl when she because they ride bikes in Cali. She went and got a beach cruiser and brought that bitch to Atlanta, rode that shit all the way to East East Atlanta. I'm gonna tell you my, my top three who I like. Hood or just all around? Hood and crazy. All right, go ahead. Because you like wouldn't it. hear that episode we did all our like Instagram ones. I like, I like, I like Taraji P. Henson. Mm. I love, I love her. You know why I like Taraji P. No. Henson? I, I feel him. like she get all her movie checks and cash them and leave the bank with the cash. Like mm -mm. I feel like I feel she like walk she around cash with like all her checks at Western Union. Yeah, I feel like she walk around with like seventy, eighty thousand in a Louis bag, like with a rubber band on it. She just so she's so she just so hood, right, bro. Man. She just remind me of my sister and shit. Like her bro, and my she, sister will be drunk yeah. and be doing some stupid shit. She hood like a you pork chop man? sandwich. She. Mm -mm. She the type of chick who will still be rich, and then you go over her crib, she'll still have like a cutlass on some foes in the garage. Like, bitch, you got a cutlass on some foes. She have a deep fryer. Right. Like, bitch, you got a deep fryer. She fry still fry her fish outside. Yeah, damn, you right. so sexy. And yeah. You know what I love? Or who else? Like, who your number two? Number two? Rihanna. Oh my God. I love me some Rihanna. Listen to me, bro. Like, you know how folks be having no fair? I be like, bro, how y'all like these people? Like, I like them how I like. You what, know what is I'm it saying? that you like about her? She don't care. Hell, bro. She just she got money, so she know how she she act. But she like she don't care. And she from over there. I don't know where she from. Man. She got that action, and it's so. You ever saw that van where she Berbato, get in the car? Yeah, and Berbato, she like, I'm talking about Berbato. get out of the way. That's what made me love her right there. I just love. And then her. I saw a roller blunt on top of the security guard head. Just like you said, like this. She, she don't give a fuck. She gangster, nothing. bro. And they just be like, she just got. I want to just be stupid around her. Like, can yeah. I do? She just let me be stupid. They be like, you suck like me. Like, I bet you. Like, right. bet me then. You got money, baby. Baby, I'm on the top. I jump. Right. Turn it up. I go get that. Rihanna just got sex appeal. She just, yeah, she it's says it. She like, she, she like the one that'll fuck anyone. Mm, mm, mm. She made me choke when I thought about it. Because <laughs> I thought about the naked picture. Her nipple looks so smooth, my nigga. Ain't no saying. She don't be can. nipple looks so smooth. Smooth. They starting to hang a little bit, but I don't, I don't, give, I don't a fuck. give either. I don't that, give a I, that, fuck. That, 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 that's so confident. Her titties could hang out like a little bit. It ain't it ain't it ain't it ain't hang hang. It's like the first stage of hanging when them folks be like, I, I'm tired a little that's, bit. No, nah, that's that real titty lean. It like you see a lot of niggas don't appreciate the real yeah, titty I love lean. that one. Because you're used to seeing these fake titties with no personality. They, they don't even move. It's just right there. Titty with no personality. Shout out to the real titties. Oh, and then my third one. Go ahead. Bam, I love Bam. I like Bam. I like Bam. Much love to all the Instagram baddies out there doing their thing, uh, reaching all of their capabilities. It's some, it's some fine ass ladies on there. I'm about to. Get, I'm, I'm off Instagram. I'm on an Instagram detox. I have not been liking no pictures because like three niggas came up to me like, "Nigga, you know all the hoes that." Are. I'm like, it's, "It's Instagram, my nigga. It's fine." I, I like, I can't do it. I, I just fall back. Now I only like pictures of nature. Sneak this is couples going back and forth, cars, ammunition, things of that nature. Um, I'm on a diet right now. I'm taking a I sabbatical. Ain't, I'm going crazy. I'm looking right now. You're making me miss my old self. But I'm trying to salute, cheat. Salute to all the people out there looking for love on social media. I hope you find it. Me, myself, personally, just let me know when you do so I can unfollow your goof ass. Hey, man. <clears throat> the All-Star game was whack as fuck. The uh, 
dunk contest was whack as fuck. Look, kid, dunk contest was better than that. Yeah, shit. uh, you know the the NBA is really changing, man. These niggas is too friendly, and you yeah. thought that yeah, you, you want to see that, but the competitive edge is dead. Like they all problems and shit. Like niggas, nah, it, it, it's not even like it's not even that they just you everybody know, it's got not a even just like a mutual respect. Now it's just like these niggas is BFFs. Oh like <laughs> they having sleepovers and wearing footed pajamas and shit, like, onesies and shit. Right, like nigga, like you. Come on, bro. Like, you could get back to being cool after the game. Don't let me saying they they won these, ain't it? You remember when you remember when sports was like real competitive? You remember when fucking Deion Sanders got traded to the Cowboys the first year, and him and Andre Risen was best friends. They had a fucking on the field fight and went to the club the same goddamn night. Who? Andre Risen and Deion Sanders. It's like, like, like when MJ. Played with all them legends during his time. Like he, he was Charles Barkley boy. But if nigga on court, fuck you, I will punch you back. But no, after talk. the game, we can get back to the cool shit. Now on the on the court, it ain't it, it, it's on some. I'm not you done. Let me have, get up, bro. All right, like, nigga, well, I lead that fuck ass the- nigga. Bro, have that fuck ass nigga. Up. Right. But see, my highlight, my highlight from the All Star game might get overlooked. Was the alley oop from Kevin Durant to I mean, you know, Kevin Durant to Russell uh, Westbrook. I thought that was the highlight. That's what I thought, because they don't really game. fuck with each other like then that. Then they asked him about it. He was like, shit. Oh, boy, shit is sad. He's a great player. The guy jumps really high. It was a great finish. I, I don't think that that shit going to – they letting this shit simmer, but I don't think it's really going it, to – it's comical at this point. Fuck that. That's why you got to have a real nigga. It be – I'm going to tell you the, 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 the lab breed of that shit, bro. That's the type Cam of rivalry Garnett that's with good the lab breed. With the lab breed. Man, when I used to hit a – the mic record. Right. Everybody was a bitch. That, didn't that... Nigga tell Carmelo. Everybody Anthony was a bitch. That la la tastes like Cheerios. Or yep. Some and shit. he wanted. And he stood. And he was at a bus waiting on him. Hey, but you know what? That's I, gangster, I bro. Been, like, I yeah, love that nigga shit. When it came to the bus, now I have been seeing a lot of niggas who like, hey, don't fucking play with me. Like John Wall walked up to a oh, nigga nah, and was John like, Wall don't was fucking play with me. Mark Carmelo was like, I'm don't. You can read they don't matter. Yeah, Demarcus yeah. cousin. Yeah, Modell. That nigga got traded to the Pelicans, and then I want to see a nigga try uh Stevens. That nigga got temper tantrum. Won't keep getting traded and shit. Oh man, oh. Lance Stevens. Yeah, that motherfucker. They don't fuck with Buddy like that. Let, you know one of them nigga who ever get pushed down to get up real fast. You be you need to be afraid of them niggas when they be like, <laughs> be like oh that nigga got something hit eye. Like them nigga get pushed down real fast and get up real fast. <laughs> Get up real quick. But he about to do some shit, man. Get him. Get him. <laughs> hey, I don't Lance know Steve's if you saw crazy, this shit, huh? but they got this clip up in the All-Star game where Dwight Howard is about to sit on the bench. And then before he sit down, he reach over and grab this nigga dick and, like, squeeze it. I don't. I didn't know who. I, yes, it's online. It's online. I'm not making this up. I wouldn't just be saying this shit to be saying this shit, but it's. It's something going on in the fucking NBA because it was just a couple weeks ago. Motherfucker came off on the screen on Demarcus cousin. The nigga came across the screen and just grabbed this man dick. And bro was like, "Whoa, tech, get this nigga a tech!" And they threw him out the game. So I don't know if any NBA players watch this, but hey, the game is played above the waist. Don't be out there touching nobody's dick, man. Real talk. No, bro, like, hey, don't be out there touching nobody's dick, bro. That's that's not. Part of the rules. That's, there is no sport where that is allowed, my nigga. That's crazy. I don't know. The it's game, kids the game, watching. The my game nigga. has gotten real, real crazy. You remember the time where I got last brawl, man? Was what the, 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 the Pacers? Yeah, that was real nigga shit. You know that? You know that shit nah, was that, like that was forty some real niggerish shit. Nigga was getting in the st- You remember Ron Artez was the, the most scared NBA player for a minute. Yeah. They were right. like, man. Look, don't piss him off. If you go don't back and watch that shit, they were ben like, bro, Wallace was go. the nigga not to fuck with. No, nah, most definitely. Ben Wallace. That then when the fight started, that nigga pushed somebody all the way across the motherfucking but, court. But I'm, but, but, I'm, but I'm saying though, Artez was like the one of the most feared niggas to like. He was the nigga that he was known for fighting. He would fight. Yeah, he yeah you fucking fuck right. Ben ain't playing that. Dude. Any nigga who wear their hair like a slave, right. nigga don't give a that, fuck about life. Nigga on the game, court like what? That game made nigga, niggas head, look at both teams woke up. That nigga, that nigga head look like he always just woke up. <laughs> nigga head all slanted. What? Nigga, that already woke me up from my nap. 
Talk about some damn basketball. Give me the ball, man. Give me the fucking ball, man. Hey, that game, all waking up that from a fight nap. made you look at both teams different. Like, oh, yeah, the it Pacers. It was some real niggas on both teams. Like, oh, most definitely. Steven most Jackson definitely. went up in the crowd what? like, Steven nigga, Jackson, what? Oh, for goddamn. <laughs> no, nah, shout out against for real, though. Nah, see, them niggas was, see, that's the thing, though. It done got so soft, you feel what I'm saying? Nigga, you remember the time, see, LeBron just now started talking back. Yeah. You remember the time niggas just beat <clears throat> LeBron, LeBron. Yeah. yeah. And then that now, shit just started. Now, the nigga, started nigga hit Stevenson, LeBron, he tear it up. Hey! Stevenson was the first nigga that make LeBron be like, hold up, my nigga. You yeah. not about to do me like that. Right. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was oh, that made hey, history. That nigga LeBron James. That people bit people bit starting to they they starting to see it again. But that nigga have always been himself. I know you saw the half court shit. And then he looked at Steph like nigga. It's still my fucking game. It's still me. Yeah. Shout that out to King crazy. James. Now, I fucked with man. I, I, that nigga threw himself that, that like, alley. Okay, when you lit. break down the shit, right, the also wasn't that bad. Anthony I Davis. feel like the alley. Broke the uh, he broke the record, the scoring record. Yeah, he, he Him and Russell scoring. Westbrook broke the scoring, uh, scoring record. That sh- that game is ridiculous. Motherfucker scored hundred and ninety points. That shit was lit. I like all those self alleys they were throwing each other. Like, that, nigga, yeah. that nigga, that nigga, Lebron is like athletic for real. Right. Yeah. That shit was ridiculous, but I feel like it's sometimes it's supposed to be ridiculous. These are some of the. It's greatest not. It's not competitive. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't no like when you get on the court, you want a nigga to feel like. What he coming with, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be like, oh, that's my friend, or that's my, right. you know what I'm saying? No, like you don't, I don't see no trash talking. I think, or none of that shit. Yeah. I think that well, you know, after seeing that All Star game, it just lets you know that the NBA could be played at whatever speed that these players decide to play it, and mm-hmm. it's just like the people who run the rules and regulations of that, they understand that these guys can change the speed of this game, so they have these referees and play. To be, so these people can watch the sport, the white people, I feel, to make it more enjoyable, to slow the game down. Because niggas can do some amazing shit all day, every day. And they are some extraordinary athletes who it's, it's just impossible for you to be like, this motherfucker run up and down this court all goddamn day and this, and do mo- and have fun with it. It's, it's ridiculous. People don't understand the caliber of professional athletes and how big and athletic these motherfuckers really are. That's why I gotta get on the court like Kevin Garnett. I don't give a fuck. Right. Let these niggas know. No, I will so, no, fuck not, your wife. But like them athlete niggas, some of them niggas is like those are a whole nother breed of niggas. These motherfuckers have hands the size of feet and six foot eight. You three people wide. That's why when your girl introduce you to them niggas, just be like, like you can have her, bro. You, I don't want her. I don't know, your like big ass size 15, 16. Like ass sports feet, was just all. always. I used to always <laughs> like sports because I could talk shit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's when I could get my. My little aggression that I had off. I was like three seconds. Bro, this, man. before I got stabbed and before a nigga told me I really, I really couldn't play. That story, bro. I could play, bro. <laughs> I could play, bro. I don't care what now a nigga told me. I could play, bro. That nigga told me I couldn't play. That hurt. If so, I would have knew this what God had in store for me, I would have never played shit. Fuck Even when sports. I played football and, and when I didn't start, I was on the sideline talking shit. I, I played all I used to be that nigga on the sideline. I did too. Like if a nigga get a good hit, I'm like, yeah, nigga. Get up. No, and I can't go nowhere but right here. <laughs> what? Okay, nigga, I can't get on the field. Right. Okay. I should have took all them fucking games that I was on the bench okay. and worked on my shit. Had I known I would have been a comedian, I wouldn't have been after school nowhere. doing Even none of that like shit. Playing basketball, like if niggas about to get the final shit. Like my coach, first of all, I'm trying to get in the game. Right. If I get on the court and swing on a nigga, I'm never playing. Right. You know what I'm saying? So sucker won't. Hey, touch me if you want to. I can't go pay right here. <laughs> Stay in your lane like a motherfucker. No. Let them niggas come over. Y'all yeah, come over here. Let them niggas come over here. I got you. And over there, I can't do nothing about that. I got you. I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't cross that line, yeah, right? Okay. That's why I start getting into other shit that you could do by yourself, like track and cross country and shit. <laughs> I saw how easy it was to win across country. I was like, I'm fucking with it, nigga. No, nah, I, I used to thought I would run the track so I, re- I realized how long they were running. Nigga, I was in the cross country squad. I said, y'all ain't gonna do this for like 10 to 15 long, seconds. Nigga. Three, 10 four to miles long. No, like, nigga. Three, four miles long. But I can't do this. Rain, sleet, or snow. I can't, I can't do this. I can do this. Real shit. Right here. <laughs> Whether it's raining, snowing, what long as ain't no fucking oh, thunder and lightning, hey, the, the cross country meet going down. 
three, four miles. This motherfucker's walking. I was like, nigga, I got too much integrity to walk. I'm going to at least beat these motherfuckers who walking. It's 200 people in the goddamn race. Four athletes. It's only four fucking athletes. <laughs> Everybody else is there for more support and Christian uh, FCA meetings and shit. It's only three people in this race that they're taking serious. Me and this two white boy, because his daddy the coach. And then there's another motherfucker who just is an extraordinary talent. Everybody else is just here for participation. I used to always try to get cool with the coach's son just so he can say, hey, daddy, let me in the game. <laughs> Fuck the coach. Like, Fuck hey, all the coaches. Tell your daddy let me in the game, bro. Because if I'm your friend, bro, you going to tell your daddy. Fuck all the coaches, man. man. Fuck the coaches who said fuck I couldn't coaches. do shit. That's who I'm talking Little about. Little bitty bitch. Coach, coaches out here trying to teach you lessons by keeping you out the game. Bitch, this is all I got, nigga. I, I ain't good at school. You can't teach okay. me a life lesson by putting me on the bench. If you don't let me go out here and goddamn earn this scholarship. That's the thing. The crazy the part about it, you were rapping me. You were rapping me play. Then oh, be on he the got bench. a bad attitude. Bitch, what? so what? My mama got to work at the hospital, my nigga. This... When I get this scholarship, my life going to change. Puss ass nigga. You mad? No, that's real, real You talk. mad because these recruiters trying to give me some money under the table and they won't get your fat ass none. Real talk. Fuck them coaches, man. Real Fuck talk. all them coaches out there stealing from them athletes. Yep. NCAA. I don't go to college, so fuck all y'all. You write a nigga a check. You get a free education. Bitch, them, the same motherfuckers who gave you a free education won't give you a job. Shout fuck them free education, fuck. bitch. If they offer you any money, fuck the violation. Take it. They ain't got shit for you until you, you hurt your leg. Take your money. You, you sound like a nigga took your money. Man, I'm just, no, I'm letting them know, nigga. Get uh -huh. the bread. You're going to get un the team under investigation yeah, anyway because the coach fucking up. They're going to take all your little progress. They let me play. So, nigga, get what you can get before they fucking get you, you out of here. You don't want me on I'm the bench. I'm talking about everybody, nigga. Hey. Coach, hey. everything. I just hate to see these, these niggas just lose every, all ass. this shit over some bullshit. Like, oh, well, he had a rental car and they gave him a free day. So we got to kick this nigga out of school. He's stealing. Man, get what the fuck you can get. Yeah, yeah. You in violation anyway. Let your girl wear your jersey. Guess what? You violating. I'm telling you. Get what you can get. Fuck that. Get that money, nigga. Get that and money, don't tell nigga. nobody, nigga. Get that money. That's, what the, that's why Donald Trump is the president. It's the money grab. It's the free for all out here. Get Grab that pussy and get. get that money. Take that shit home and hide it. Put it in a pillar and bury that shit under the house. Just make sure you pay all your bills. Don't tell your mama. Don't tell nobody you got shit. Everybody, she's going to be on the phone, Cheryl. They gave my son Quit some posting money. so much shit on Instagram. We done made it. Exactly. Like, look, you done told the wrong Bro, I feel bitch. like we be giving them so much life game on this show. That's why they, 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 they got to start paying for the episode. <laughs> they got to. How much you going to charge them? Nine ninety nine, nine ninety five. I ain't gonna do you like that. I eight ninety nine. No, they going they supporting though. As long as you watch this shit and make sure you watch the little pussy ass ad. Watch the we. They be mad at us. It's like only we, five seconds. You can like skip. we put the goddamn ads in there. We didn't have shit to do with the. I ain't gonna lie. That's YouTube. When I pull up and I see like thirty little yellow lines, I be like, the fuck. Fuck them yellow lines, bro. Just refresh your browser. Like, I'm like, god damn. Watch it's them not us, brother. Ads. We didn't put it there. Shout out to Chillis or whoever put it there. Nigga be in there, boy. I'll show you like here. Direct to TV. <laughs> Why don't y'all just send us the check and we'll do our own ads? Just like we do for Red Bull. Red Bull. Cranberry. Delicious. Black people love it. <laughs> you ever seen a commercial that motherfuckers that be cheesy? They be like, how you getting a commercial? <laughs> Like, that nigga got a free ass check. Hey, man. We need extra. You. you know the dumbest commercials out right now is the credit report commercial. You should check your credit report. I don't need to check my credit report. Credit reports don't change. Do they? The dumbest commercial is. Wow. The, that's amazing. The dumbest commercial right now Fuck is, is Shaquille O'Neal and the General commercial. Man, Shaquille. He ran out. You heard me say, Mr. He said, pull out. I'm like, that shit is Shaq. ads. Like, Shaq, you not in that car for real? No, nah, that's the shit that made me mad. Shaq, my boy. But that nigga tried to convince me that he had a fucking Buick Enclave. I was like, Shaq, your big ass not riding around no fucking Buick. Just like they tried to convince me that fucking Blake Griffin had a Kia. No damn way he ain't no, got no Kia. Goddamn well, no. The Kia, the official NBA, oh, yeah, well, the official vehicle of the NBA. For who? The side bitches? The little sister that just graduated high school? That's Ain't awesome. no NBA nigga buying no Kia, bro. Not now one of them. Not the 11th nigga on the roster got a Kia. Never. The assistant assistant coach don't have a Kia. Maybe the manager, the nigga that washed the towels and put the shit on the bench, but 
He only got it because it's the official vehicle of the NBA, and he got a little discount on it. <laughs> he didn't want the shit. The nigga wanted a Jeep Cherokee, but Jeep Cherokee not the official vehicle of the NBA. <laughs> Brought to you by the You know what? NBA. I got to give a shout out to all my niggas who really out there struggling, who just got an 09 Charger, and you about to put them things on that bitch. Don't never give up on your dreams. Don't never let nobody tell you what you can't do. You better give a fuck about what year it is. It's new to you. Ride that bitch. Better than what you've been doing. Hello? Is this thing still on? This is the 85 South Show. My name is Carlos Miller. They said I ain't gonna be shit. I don't give a fuck. I wasn't trying to anyway. Much love to all the hoes who so never believed did, in me. Bitch. That's what you should do. That's my man DC Young Fly. This nigga got all type of shit going on. But guess what's going on right now? The 85 South Show. You yep. funky little whores. You little, little, little fucking little bitch. 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 You little whores. Yeah. Arr. What the fuck was that? Arr. Yeah, I just saved my whole bunch of money. It's about switching it. Hey, we got little another. Little talk to him. What happened? Whatever you said. Oh, we, we got we another bitch, live man. show coming up. The show do March 8th. Where it's going to be at. It's going to be at the sh- a fucking Comedy Zone in Charlotte. And we about to start doing a once a month. You fucking with the once a month? Yeah, so look, this is how it's going to work. Once a month, whenever one of us in town, we're going to host that shit at Smith's Old Bar. What day is the first one? March 22nd? Hell yeah. We're going to do some comedy. We might do some spoken word, some live music. So make sure you hit 85 South Show at Gmail so you can submit. If your shit garbage, we ain't letting you up. We just letting you know now. I mean, it's just being real. It's going to be only for the greats. It's gonna be no, this is bullshit. But it's gonna be a live show. We're doing a variety show, so it's not just gonna be comedy. So we're trying to expand that shit. Shit, go to eighty five South Show. I'm geeked up out there, Red Bull. I am too, bro. This that shit, shit got me got up. <laughs> no, I'm trying. I don't even think I can go to sleep. Hey man, th- we did something. I think I was yawning, but my body just yawned. It was like mm. they don't even realize that we went through this whole episode. <laughs> And we ain't even talk about no pussy. That's for all the people who didn't believe in us. Until now, my pussy. Yeah, we talking about that goddamn pussy. Let that pussy in me hang. We talking about that goddamn pussy. Let that pussy in me hang. We talking about that pussy. That pussy, pussy. The pussy, pussy. It's the pussy. The pussy, pussy. That pussy, pussy. It's that pussy. That pussy, pussy. That pussy, pussy. It's that pussy. That pussy, pussy. That pussy, pussy. Hey, we do a lot of episodes for the real niggas. And for the hoes and regular women that deal with us. Sometimes we crazy. We talk about the coaching. We like that pussy. I hit it and make that pussy low set. My name is. Close, I do the most. I talk the most shit. Bro, but don't snap. never leave me unprotected around your bitch. Hey. Cause I might do some shit. Do some shit. Love the pussy. Love the pussy. I touch the shit. Dude. I just rub the pussy. Hey. hey. Bring it back. Bring it back. Let the flag get some. Let me hit. We talking about the pussy. Talking about the pussy. Give me some. Hey, I love pussy. That pussy stank pussy. Hold Hit up. pussy. Hold up. Hold up. It don't matter. It's that tiny pussy. I don't get no throw or from the hood. I make the pussy feel good. It be like, hey, you want this wood? The little trainer engine could. We don't be that thing like a pile, bitch. Ow, bitch. You want your period. It's eating now, bitch. You done made me mad. I'ma hit you from pussy the back. Hey, pussy real good. Everybody know pussy it real good. good. Fat pussy, loose pussy, tight pussy, nice, nice pussy, nice, sad nice. pussy, mad pussy. Ooh, that Ooh, that bad that pussy. Bad pussy. Her back, her pussy in a crack. You know the nigga like me so nasty, I was licking on all of that. She texted me back, she sent the titties and the address, came after that. I said, let me see that pussy girl. She said, hold on, I'ma text you back. I'm like, yeah, she sent it. She let a nigga sleep. I touched it, I rubbed it. She might just let me beat it. She didn't want to, I want to. She had to come up off it. This is the 85 South Show, bitch. We freestyling about that pussy. We ain't never lost it. Hey! Some niggas out there that's listening to the show. Let me let you know. Hey, me and Los, we fucked your hoe. Hey, some niggas laughing and they think they we playing. Listen, the nigga dancing in the kitchen. I hope you're listening to what I'm saying. You. Nigga, shout out to Backwoods, hey, shout out to us, shout out to us, cause we hit your hoe in your car, it's the one you got for Texas, nigga, yeah, we hit your hoe in the back, yeah. on the Texas, nigga, yeah, 
Fuck you the and your air show. mattress. The code yeah. is podcast. Hit your bitch up on your South air show. mattress. The code yeah. is podcast. And your child walk by. He South said, show. mommy. The code is podcast. I said, right now, little nigga. The code he is said, podcast. The code is podcast. The code is podcast. Little podcast. nigga, not right now. I'm hitting your mother from the back. What the fuck right you now. talking about? Sit your ass down. Before I remember little nephew, beat your ass. <laughs> Sit down. Your mama got my dick in the mouth. Sit down. Sit down. Yo, mama got my dick in the mouth. Hold on, hold on, oh, oh, she taking it with two hands. Damn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, she taking it with two hands. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn, she taking it with two hands. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, she taking it with two hands. Hey. Yeah, 85 South Show. 85 South Show. The code is podcast. Code is podcast. Live show coming soon. Live show, live show. We gonna be on your ass. Hold up, hold up. Stay tuned, bitch. Tell everybody. Uh, you gonna bring it back? We gonna bring uh, it back. I said your dick uh, supposed to be out when you walk in the house. Uh, I said that uh, it's supposed to be out when you walk in the house. Uh, I said your dick uh, supposed to be out when you walk in the house. Uh, I said you uh, just pull it out and pull it straight in on my uh, house. Hello. <laughs> Give me one more. Uh, hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, hello. Give me one more. Oh, hello. All right, here we go. One more time for the people who know. Oh, hello. Be out when you walk in the house. Oh, hello. Be out when you walk in the house. Oh, hello. Be out when you walk in the house. Oh, hello. Hook that bitch nigga straight in her mouth. Oh, hello. 85 seconds. Bitch, you my red bull. Smoke my bad wood. Man, let's just leave that bitch. We're gonna leave on the beat. Fuck it. That's the second time you done had an annual uh, Hey, real quick. We got to talk about no promo extra work. Just uh, for the live show that we're going to do on the 27th. So the idea is to have uh, somebody host will be talking about that. And then we normally have like some sort of budding artist that's going to come in. But I think it would be a good story to do it on the live show. So we're going to do that. For the money. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> the advice from the old nigga? Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. Pimping is big business. Yeah. Going on since the beginning of time. Yes, sir. If you keep going forward until somebody turns the lights out on this place. <laughs> <laughs> the blind nigga had the game.